All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Unconventional Outdoorsman. As the title might suggest, today we're going over a new air gun. This is episode three of the air gun review. As you can see, it is empty. I'll clear it for you. This is an air gun, so there's no need to worry about rounds going off or anything. So the Sig P365 is a newer design by Sig Sauer within the last three to four years. Um, it's been pretty successful. I picked this up about <clears throat> just under a year ago. Uh, it is pretty small. It holds, I think, 10 to 15 BBs in there. It does have some issues, which I will be getting into later in the video, but overall I'm just going to get into some of the specs of the gun, the cost, where you can pick it up, and so on and so forth. So, the gun, I've got pretty large hands, so it fits basically in the palm of your hand. It is very light. I'd say the whole gun with the magazine and with CO2 is probably a pound and a quarter. So what is that? 20, 22 ounces, so not very heavy. It is blowback, so what that blowback means is when I pull the trigger when there's something in there, the, the slide will rack back every single time and have some sort of recoil. It's a little bit under like a 22 pistol, uh, maybe a little bit more depending on uh, the type of pistol you use, air gun you're using. Um, this is, you know, lighter of course, so it's going to have a little bit more snap to it. The safety on it, it's got a ambidextrous safety, so left and right, I'm a lefty, so... You can just flip it up. You can see the red dot. That means it's on fire. Flip it to safety. Flip, flip it back down to fire. Um, it does have a really cool thing. So, as you can see, it holds open. Now, when I'm doing this because when the magazine is empty, it will snap back like this. And so you unload a, your mag, put a new one in, and do that, and you're ready to go. So it is pretty, pretty realistic. <clears throat> I have had quite a few reliability issues. But then again, I did buy this air pistol the basically the month it came out. I'm sure the newer versions are probably a little bit better. The reliability issues I've had, as you can see, I've tried to take this magazine apart here to fix the gas system. This part fails a lot. Um, the O-ring breaks, and then up in here, like in here, there's a little port where the CO2 cartridge, the 12 gram goes. Um, that tends to leak a lot. If you're going to keep these magazines loaded with CO2, which you probably shouldn't, I think that's what caused my magazines to break. But if you are, do not store them in your air pistol. The reason for that, it keeps um, pressure against this. There's like a little plastic thing here. It causes it to leak and, you know, causes there to be cracks in the O-rings and stuff, which is... These magazines aren't that expensive. They're like 20 25 bucks a piece, which they are good $70, so... You get one magazine with it, so it is a little bit of an investment. Um, I would recommend getting a couple, three of these magazines because if you're literally just going to have one magazine, you'd be shooting all day, like pop, 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 pop. You're literally going to have to sit there and load them one by one by one, and that's going to get very annoying. So I, I have two magazines for this. Both of mine crapped out on me. That's why I'm probably just not going to use this again. Um, if anybody has had different experiences with this uh, SIG P365 air pistol, please let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know what it is that I'm doing wrong with this, because it might just be user error. It does have some nice sights on it. As you can see, it's got the two white dots here. If you line it up, it's got that nice green side in the front. So very good visual. The trigger on it is a very, it's a curved, you know, basic trigger. Got a crisp, clean break. Um, I like that. But yeah, this gun comes in around $79 to $80. It might be cheaper now. When I bought mine, it was roughly $80, and I bought another magazine for it and a holster um, to try plinking around with it. It does come with an accessory rail, so if you want to put a laser or something on, which is kind of a waste for an air pistol. But I mean, if your hands are small and if, you're, if you like Sig Sauer, which I'm a big fan of them, um, this might be your type of air pistol. So it is light. You know, it's a lot of fun to shoot around and plink around with. <clears throat> the magazine release is pretty good. Um, disassembly on it, I haven't taken it apart yet, but I might make a video about that in the future. So, yeah, it's got nice checkering for a good grip here. You know, checkering on the back, the magwell, front, everything. If you're going to carry it in a holster a lot, because I know I carried it for, like, pass control in my yard, because we had a garden that we'd sometimes get, like, a garden snakes and stuff we didn't want in there so you can see it's kind of wearing out the slide but that's with most air pistols they're not the same quality as like a real um, pistol but uh yeah overall this is a pretty good air pistol for the money 79 to 90 dollars i don't know different parts of the country it might cost more or less but uh yeah it is made in the u.s 
It says Newington, New Hampshire, USA. So that is always a good thing to have your air pistols made in the U.S. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful Thursday.